to uh, another installment uh, of Let's Talk. Uh, the third installment, uh, we're going to start counting them down, it's the third installment. Uh, today I wanted to talk about the, the, the relationship between Krav Maga and martial arts. Um, just today I, I've had uh, someone else say to me that uh, Krav Maga is not martial arts. It's probably the fifth or sixth time I've heard someone in the past two months say directly to me that Krav Maga is not martial arts. And if you look at social media and, and all the different places, um, everyone always is saying that, that Krav Maga is not martial arts. And I think that that, that if, if, if you do not believe that Krav Maga is a martial art, that, that, that you're missing, uh, missing big concepts in, in what we're doing. It's because of all of these martial arts in the world that Krav Maga exists. Krav Maga takes from all of these different martial arts um, the best techniques and then we incorporate these techniques into our system um, if you're training with anyone that has done Krav Maga for six months or a year then you're not training with someone that that understands or, or, or that knows what Krav Maga is to be able to be proficient to be able to teach and instruct martial arts you have to be a martial artist you have to be able to understand the concepts and where the techniques come from and, and, and the years of training that's gone behind the jiu-jitsu guy or the judo guy or, or the karate guy or the, or, or, or the Ishinru or, or, or whatever the different styles that we've taken these techniques that we, that we practice in Krav Maga, that's martial arts. You can't say that you're doing kicks and punches and different techniques and training for years and years and years and then try to have a disconnect between Krav Maga and martial arts. It's because of them that we exist, okay? Um, if, if you look at what Bruce Lee did, if you look at mixed martial arts, if you look at all the, the, the combative systems of the world right now, all of these systems are bringing martial arts back to what they used to be, to what they were originally created for, and that was to win fights. Um, from the very creation, from the very beginning, uh, in Shaolin temples and before that when, when martial arts came from a uh, came with gurus coming from from India um, the idea yeah it was it was inner peace and, and and all of that but the idea of the techniques that they were doing was to win fights it wasn't watered down um, trying to get people into your dojo so the idea that, that 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 everyone is trying to push now is don't do martial arts do Krav Maga do martial arts because if you're doing it's, it's really hot down here in South America and I, yeah, I'm, I'm sweating uh, it's real it's really important to understand that if you're doing Krav Maga you have to have an understanding of martial arts um, I, 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 I'm going to train right now when, when I leave here right now I'm going to train my style of, of karate Aki Shinkai karate um, I, I train that because there's techniques and, and, and there's strikes and kicks and things in that that help my Krav Maga techniques. So if someone's saying to you, all right, stop doing your karate or stop doing your martial art and do Krav Maga, they're steering you in the wrong direction, okay? So what we wanted to talk about today and, and what we need to focus on is that it's all good. Everything is good, but we need to make sure that we understand that the Krav Maga that we're doing, the Krav Maga that, that, that we're presenting is taking the most effective techniques that have been somewhat taken out of the different schools because it's it, it's hard to teach a, 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 a child it's hard to teach small children uh, groin strikes and eye gouges and and, and, and and the things that work in self-defense street techniques um, that's why I have a big I personally have a big problem with having kids Krav Maga kids Krav Maga for me uh, you, you don't want to have a kid a child learning Krav Maga techniques because Krav Maga techniques are, 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 are taken from martial arts to destroy your opponent, to destroy aggressors. So if you have a child that needs to learn some type of self-defense, that child needs to be learning judo. That type of child needs to be learning um, less uh, destructive techniques that are gonna work for your child on the playground. That's gonna work for your child uh, when they're having those situations. If you want your child to be able to learn um, not to get in the car, not to take candy from a stranger, well, that's a, that's that's different education. That's situational awareness. That's 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 teaching your child. That's you as a parent. That's you as your karate, the martial arts instructor, teaching that child the the the, 
the the situational awareness to have to not get in that car, to not talk to strangers, okay? Um, that child doesn't necessarily need to know how to uh, do a thumb gouge and an eye gouge because that's going to come back out on the playground and then you as a parent are going to be responsible. Why does your child do that, okay? So martial arts and Krav Maga, as far as I'm concerned, is the same thing, okay? So let's, let's talk about that. Let's talk about, send me some messages what you think about that because if you're doing martial arts, whatever your martial art is, like I've said before, you're doing the right thing, keep doing that. But think about also incorporating into your training program Krav Maga as well because I can almost assure you in your karate program, in your martial arts program, there are things that you're missing that have been taken out and now we have those techniques in Krav Maga. So if you're training your martial arts program, incorporate Krav Maga training into your program as well, and then you're going to be a complete martial artist. Guys, thanks a lot. That was it was a, a short little uh, short little uh, tirade that I had today just before I go and, and, and do my training. But please stop thinking that Krav Maga is not martial arts. Look at everything, all of your training, as a way to better yourself, empower yourself, and to make yourself uh, uh, harder to kill. Thanks a lot. Uh, once again, uh, YNG Global, Crawvolution. Uh, I'm Scott Yingling, and uh, keep training.